Well, I hope you enjoyed that little intro there. That mold is basically a mold I got from Amazon that it's really for soap, uh, for making 3D soaps. So I had to cut on it, you know, at the top that you saw to be able to get it out. I used the hardy soft clay, which I was very happy with. But when I finally did get the head to come out correctly, it looked a little bit like a angry bird so I worked on his eyes a little bit and I'll have to probably do some more with paint to make him look like a happy curious bird for the body you saw that I had uh, cast the bottom half of the mold but I didn't like it so I just kept adding a little clay and kind of shaping the bird I did need to test it with the door opening in my birdhouse because that's where the bird's gonna stand and he can't be too big so I'm gonna to continue to work on that now he needs some wings and I am using IOD's bird song wings uh, to cast uh, some wings that would fit his size although I do end up cutting them down a bit but this worked beautifully because I could shape the wings the way I want because he's going to be kind of hanging onto the door and leaning out and looking out like, hey, who's coming up the drive? Now, I continued to use Iron Orchid Design's bird song mold with a different feathered friend there because I wanted to add those feathers that would be on the front of his chest area. So I just keep working on that and kind of attaching it eventually. Uh, cut the long part off after I get his feet going. The best tutorial that I found on making bird legs and feet was by Living Felt and she does a great job explaining. I will put a link to her uh, that video in the description box below my video. And I modified a little bit uh, from what she was doing because hers were a little bit longer and bigger feet. So I started out here with just a piece of cardstock and I'm cutting it two inches by two inches. She did two and a half by two and a half. 
and now I'm drawing a little line that is three-fourths of an inch long. I'm using 24 gauge floral wire. It would would have been better if they, it had been silver stainless steel uh, because of the toenails. But you can always paint it, which is probably what I will do. So I'm cutting off the squirrely end there, and then I'm going to cut uh, seven inch, roughly seven inch long pieces. You're going to need two for each foot, so I'll, eventually I'll end up cutting four pieces. The first step is to lay your wire along that line and then bend it. Then you want to put your little bend straight up in the air, take the wire, and bend it back all the way on the, the little cardstock there to the end of the piece. Now I'm going to slide that out and holding it just in my hands I then want to bend the wire back in the opposite direction and trim it off. This is going to be the middle toe and the back toe of the bird foot. Now I cut the back toe a little bit shorter because in all the bird pictures I've seen of feet, they are shorter. For the remaining set of toes, you're going to begin in the same way, bend the wire, but this time lay it on the card sideways, not facing straight up, but sideways. Pull your wire around, hold on to it, but this time when you put your thumb there in the crook, you want to bend the wire straight forward the same direction as the toe. Took me a minute to figure that part out again. That's why I laid it back on the card. But see, I'm pulling it straight forward and then you cut that off the same length. Now I'm about to make a second set of toes. Well, you know, the other toe, other foot. So I'm just going to let you watch what I'm doing. I'll be repeating the same steps, but as a former teacher, we all know that we learn by repetition. So just take a quick watch. <laughs> As you saw there, I cut off a piece of brown floral tape. It wouldn't have to be brown if you're going to eventually paint it. I'm going to paint this anyway because the type of bird I have doesn't have brown legs. It has blue legs. Anyway, um, after cutting off that strip, I cut it in thirds. And now is kind of the tedious part of it. You need to use that floral tape to start wrapping. You start... Um, 
with the middle toe back toe start on the middle toe you need to hang on to it really tightly and pull 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 you go over the toe and then go all the way up the leg this leg is going to eventually be too long I'll end up be cutting it off but you know you can't make it taller so it's better to have it too tall to begin with now you start on the back toe the same thing wrap it as tightly as you can go around that little ankle and all the way up the leg again in similar fashion you do the other set of toes wrapping with the floral tape this down to half speed here so you can see exactly how I'm placing that leg that the feet together you take the the two toes that are pointing forward and you come from the back side and push them together so that the middle toe is between the other two toes now hanging on to it nice and tightly you're going to start with one toe again with some more floral tape and you're going to start wrapping you want to go in and out each toe around the ankle and up the leg mm -hmm. 